Hi everyone, Growing Green Thumbs here. I wanted to show you a video of my hydroponics NFT system, nutrient film technique system uh, that I just kind of made on my own here. Uh, just want to show you the system first. It's made out of a uh, um, PVC or plastic gutters that I bought from the home improvement store. I bought two, two of them which are eight feet long each and I cut them in half with a uh, sturdy scissor. I try to cut it with a, I think I used like a jigsaw before but that didn't work well so I just found a good pair of sharp scissors and I just cut it by hand so that worked okay so that's my NFT system here using gutters and I had these uh, hydrogen clay pellets before and uh, I just saved it over I think I had it for like two years and I had a um, sheet of these uh, rock wool. I'll show you in a little bit what I did with this. And I have this, the water draining down to a, uh, it's about a close, to a, close to a 20 gallon bucket. I think it's a little bit less, which is plenty big enough for this system it's not pretty right now but uh i just wanted to see, make sure it's functional first this pump that i'm using i bought at harbor freight it's rated at uh i believe it's um 620 around there 620 gallons per hour um it's it's not close to 620 gallons per hour. Um, it's rated to go up as far as the lift to, I think they said like 10, 11 feet. But as you can see, the li this lift is not even near that. But it's, it's quite weak. And I'll show you in a second here. Let me turn it on real quick. Um, the, the pump is quite uh, weak and I'm not sure, maybe I'm doing something wrong, but um, okay, sorry about that. So I have this quarter inch tube here that I got at uh, the home improvement store too. And I had this small, uh, I mean this uh, plastic tube here where I plugged it into. Kind of just folded it over, taped it so it would be tight, and then just plugged it in. You can buy all these at the home improvement store. And the cool thing is that this quarter inch tube fit quite nicely in the slot here of the gutter. Just to kind of keep it nice and clean. So I just kind of pressed it in there. Okay. And I ran it, I ran the line and kind of teed it off. As you can see there and you can get these T parts at the uh, gutter or um, the uh, then there's a section where they sell like uh, uh, the gutters and pipings and all that stuff in their home improvement store so that's where I bought that at Okay, so you can see the water, it's, it's flowing, which is plenty good enough, but I thought, you know, with 600 plus gallons per hour, it's going to be a little stronger, but here is, you know, obviously it's going to be a little weaker as it goes along, but, oh well, it works. And the pump, by the way, from Harbor Freight cost me... Uh, I think it's 
listed at thirty nine ninety nine, but uh, of course you you can get the coupons at twenty percent off. So for thirty something bucks, it's not a bad deal. And so it's draining here, but I put these clay pellets here, and it distributes the water more evenly. So that worked out really well. Okay. So what I did here was the, these these seedlings uh, are from. Uh, I just put I sold this, um, I uh, sowed the seeds, uh, and this is about I want to say uh, maybe um, you know maybe three weeks to a month old. Okay, so it has some some small roots and some leaves here. So I kind of you know took some pieces of the rock wool and put it at the bottom of these net cups. And these net cups you can find you know anywhere really and online at the hydroponic stores things like that it's two inch net cups or net pots and the reason why i'm not using the entire cube is i feel that it is it holds the water it it, it saturates the this cube, the water saturates the cube a little too much. And I wanted it to be, you know, semi-saturated, but not just sitting in soaking water. So that's why I place the, um, a small piece at the bottom. So uh, what I would do is put the seedling on top of it, you know, lay the, um, lay the uh, root on top of that and then of course fill it in with these clay pellets okay so that's what I did there okay so now as you can see it's I have this uh, set up uh, upstairs in my house and uh, the windows here are, uh, sorry about the screen, it's, uh, we had a hail storm and I get damaged. But um, it's on the south side of the house so it gets plenty of sunlight uh, most of the day. So I plan to use, you know, basically base, you know, sunlight really most of the time. Uh, maybe I might supplement it with uh, some uh, uh, you know, the lighting that I have, uh, I have some CFL bulbs, might do that, you know, I gotta try it out first to see if I need to do that. But, uh, just want to show you this intro video of this first, just kind of track my progress and the progress of these plants here. Okay, I'll do a second video maybe, maybe a few weeks later. See how it's how it's going okay and these additional um, uh, these additional slots here you know I might try something else I'm not sure yet but we'll see just wanted to test it out first and the nutrient system or the nutrients that I'm using right now I'm just trying it out is uh, from Fox Farm it has an NPK of 644, so mostly nitrogen. I was looking for a small bottle of the Dynagro, um, Dynagro foliage, but they didn't have a small bottle, so I opted to use the Fox Farm. See how that goes for now. Okay. So there you have it, pretty simple, and the cost of this is, uh, let's see, two gutters, I think it was like $4 each, so let's say, let's make it $8 for the gutters. A bag of these clay pellets here, I think, if I recall, it could be about 20 bucks for, I don't know, a 30 pound bag or something. Don't quote me on that, but it's about there. You might be able to find it a little bit cheaper. Net pods is very cheap. 
you can use whatever you want maybe some styrofoam cups cut it out plastic cups poke holes in it whatever okay uh, again the pump was 30 something dollars at um, Harbor Freight this kind of this size bottle for the uh, nutrients was uh, about 20 bucks okay so just trying to give you a pricing of just how much this type of system cost me just to build it you probably can use I mean if you want to spend the money to buy a professional one by all means and I chose this method the NFT system just because um, I felt that it provided enough aeration to the roots and enough water without it being oversaturated. Okay. So I'll let you know my progress on this. I'll do another update videos, maybe a couple more as time passes. See how it goes. Let me know what you guys think, your you know, likes, dislikes, suggestions, your experience and whatnot. And remember to like and subscribe. I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you very much. Have a good day.